Good morning and welcome to the 21st episode of India Extraordinary. We have much to celebrate in this extraordinary land we call India, home to over 1.3 billion people right from the ancient times to pre-independence period to the India we live in today has witnessed the greatness of many champions. Some of them are known to us and some unknown. We bring to you 75 episodes throughout the 75th year of independence to salute the efforts of true champions of change. They are truly India's extraordinaire. Who does not like to touch the sky, break the limits and set an example? Today's champion didn't just soar the sky but fought for the lives of people. I am going to introduce you to a kind-hearted, at the same time fierce-minded, extremely determined and a brave Indian girl, none other than one and only Nija Bhanor. She was born in a middle-class Punjabi family on 7 September 1963. She was the center of her family's universe. Her parents used to call her Lado, which means the loved one. She started modeling as a teenager but was not satisfied with her job. So she gave an interview for an air hostess job at Pan Am Airlines. After some time, she agreed to marry a man chosen by her father at a very early age. Unfortunately, the man turned out to be abusive. After going through a lot of mental and physical violence, she gathered strength and courage and ended the marriage. With her inner strength and family support, she gave her life a fresh start and started working as an air hostess. Now, coming to the key event of Nija's life. On 5th September 1986, Nija's flight had stopped in Karachi on the way to New York. The first fear had come true. Militants of Abu Nidal organization hijacked the flight. Everyone was terrified with no hope left for livelihood. But our champion didn't turn back and tried to calm down the passengers for 17 hours. But the cruel, inhuman hijackers started firing on board. Nija threw open the emergency doors and started helping the passengers get off the plane. While saving others, Nija was shot dead and died due to her injuries. A big salute to our champion for sacrificing her life to save 360 passengers. Her family received her body on her birthday. Though she's no more in this world, but she'll always be alive in our hearts. Her courage earned her the Ashoka Chakra Award, making her the first woman to receive the highest award for bravery in the face of an enemy. May her soul always rest in peace. After 30 years of her death, she was immortalized in a biopic for her courage. Learning outcomes from our champion. No caste, creed or religion matters. Only humanity matters. Always believe in your inner self. It will definitely show your path to success. It has to. Stand for what is right even if it means standing alone. Thank you for joining me 
Chavi Pantia this morning and celebrating our India's extraordinary champion of change Neera Panot have a great day and a great year ahead